All right there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Just finished making some rounds, moving some snow here. I need to do a little work to this trailer here, so I think we're gonna pull it in the shop. And I think for the first part of what I gotta do here, having the Bobcat loaded up might actually help me. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull this trailer with the Bobcat still on it in the shop and get to work on it. Oh, I'm about to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. I can see already this is gonna make a big sloppy mess in here that's gonna be fun all right so first thing here we're gonna need some new tires on the front of this trailer but you can see that it's a little bit more worn on the inside of the tire than the outside you can see we're we're not quite down to the wear bars on the outside but the Inside tread is almost bald. So that means that this front axle's bent a little bit. Which makes the tire lean inwards and wear on the inside of the tire a little more. Back axle's fine, it's been wearing just fine. These tires got a lot of miles on them. It's, it's really not too bad. I think I put these tires on this trailer about seven years ago. We got basically the same thing going on on the other side here. And really this trailer is a little bit on the light side for some of my use. And anybody that knows these kind of light duty trailers knows that they're, you know, these are 3,500 pound axles. You load them regularly at 3,500 pounds, you're going to bend them. I've really considered quite a bit on upgrading this trailer, getting a newer trailer. The, this trailer is great for certain things I do, other things it's a little on the light side. Or I might just end up putting uh, some heavier axles under this trailer and beefing this trailer up a little bit. That would probably be the most cost effective route, but... Another issue you see is some of these cross members on this trailer got a pretty good bow on them. So, Part of why I wanted to leave the weight of the skid steer on here is I'm going to get under this trailer with the jack and try to bend a little more camber into that front axle and see if I can straighten out these cross members a little bit. All right, so that was all almost scarily easy to bend back into shape just using a jack and a loaded trailer. It's not 100% perfect, but camber's much better on that front axle. See, our cross members are much, much straighter now. Now, if I end up keeping this trailer, you know, and beefing it up, I'll probably replace those cross members with either a structural C-channel or maybe a box tube and probably add a couple extra cross members in there. 
that was almost creepily easy to bend back so so now that that part of it's done I think we can go ahead and unload the bobcat we're gonna go ahead and change these tires out Well, it beat on that one, just didn't really want to give it up. We got it nonetheless. These little bars I actually find on these smaller tires actually work better than my big tire bars. But.
All right, so that fought me way more than it should have. I'm gonna take the old eyeball poker here, clean up this rim. Got some old eBay free country tires made in China. That's kind of ironic. Basically the cheapest 10 ply rated trailer tires I could find. And that first one just fought me to nail. And the second one just came right on and off. Go figure. It probably took me more time to get the beam broke on the first one than it did to do this one.
So that should make this old trailer good enough till I decide if I'm beefing this trailer up, putting heavier axles under it, or I'm getting a new trailer. One way or the other. Should be good for a little while here now, so we're gonna go park this back out in the yard, throw them old tires off. So anyway, guys, be sure to body slam that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.